Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that you can use Autodesk Inventor to create section views in your technical drawings. So I've got a few different parts here, and I'm going to show you uh, a number of different types of section views that are possible in an Inventor drawing. So I'll start off uh, by just placing a um, placing one of these parts in here. I'll take a look at the front view, and I'll drop in an isometric. Um, what I'd like to be able to do here is see the inside features of this part and to do that I'm going to use a full section so to do that I come right up here in the place views tab in the create panel I find my section tool if I click on the section tool the next thing it wants is for me to choose a view to slice so I'm going to choose this front view um, now I can use the little points to help me line up where I'm going to put in my cutting plane line I like to drag it off of the part just a little bit and then I'm going to go straight down through the middle and again click off the part just a little. <clears throat> and after that second click, I'm going to right click, continue. And it starts to show me my preview of my section view. And depending on which way I drag my mouse, I can place it on the left and I'll be looking at it from one direction. I'll, I, or I could place it on the right and I'll be looking at it from the other. You can see which direction the arrows on the cutting plane line are pointing, telling you which side we are looking at. So there's lots of settings that you can tinker with. I'm going to drop this in just as is, and you can see that I've got a full section view um, with all the little section lines where it's actually cut the material, and I'm able to get in there and dimension all of these internal features accurately. So that would be doing a full section. Now I'm going to jump to a new sheet here to have a look at uh, how we might do a half section. And to do that, I'm bringing in a new part. I'm going to, again, drop an isometric view in there so you can see what we're working with. <clears throat> now, for this, I'm going to use the same tool that I just used, grab the section tool from up here in the um, Place Views panel. And again, i got to click on the view that I'm going to slice. In this case, I'm just going to be drawing my cutting plane through one quarter of the part so that when I view this from the right side, I'll be seeing half of this part straight on as a right side view. I'll be seeing the other half as a cutaway section. So I'm going to start off the shape just a little bit over here. Make my first click. I'm going to bring my mouse into the dead center for the second click. And then the third click is going to fall just outside the part on the bottom. So one, two, three clicks, and then I can right click and continue. Uh, when I drag the right side view over, the arrow on my cutting plane line tells me which direction I'm looking at this. I could swing it to the other side if I wanted. I'm going to place it right here, and you can see that I didn't slice through the top of the part. I can still see that directly, but the bottom part I did slice through, and it shows me where the material is that I cut away so that I could accurately dimension these different sized internal features, but I can also see the outside as well. Next kind of section view that I want to show you is going to be an offset section. This is where we kind of take our cutting plane line for a ride and we can take it all throughout the part to slice away really whatever we want to see here. So it's going to be a little bit more useful to me to have a top view of this part. I've got one that's sort of uh, been hollowed out, but it's got some different sized features inside that I want to be able to see. So I'm going to accept that and drag it up here to my top view. <clears throat> now to make this offset section, again, I'm going to choose that section tool. But this time I'm going to be a little more careful with where I place my cutting plane line. I'm going to make sure to use the snap points to line it up with key features that I want to make sure I go directly through. So I want to go straight through that hole. And now I want to go up until I'm even with this slot feature and go straight across directly through the slot. Again, I'm using my snap points to help me keep the cutting plane line where I want it right now. And then I'm going to bring it back down until it's even with this other hole and straight through until I get outside the part. So it's going to cut all along that zigzaggy line that I just made. Right click, continue, and I can see all of the features that need section views in one single section view. So I can get a lot of dimensioning done in this one view without having to place lots of cutting plane lines. Finally, the last kind of section that I want to show you here is um, a broken out section. And to do that, I need to place my part here. 
I'm going to use this, this little bracket right here. And before I can make a broken out section, I need to place a sketch on this view <clears throat> to define the area that I want to break out. So I'm going to click on my sketch tab and I'm going to start a new sketch on this view. Uh, I'm going to just use the line tool to kind of mark out where I want this broken out section to occur. And these don't have to be super clean lines. They just need to encompass the area that you want to break out and it needs to be a fully closed profile. So finish that sketch, go back to my place views tab. And instead of using the section tool, this time I'm going to come all the way over to the breakout tool. So if I click breakout, and then I choose this view. It just identified for me that profile that I want to use to make my broken out section. Now it wants to know how deep it should cut away that material. <clears throat> so I've got to choose a point for it to reference. I'm going to pick one on the front surface here. Um, and then I'm going to give it a specific depth to cut away from that point that I selected. So I'm going to go 1 8 of an inch deep and that's going to show me the internal details here, the, the countersunk hole and the larger hole that appears in the back side that I couldn't directly see from the front. Now I'm able to do lots of dimensioning on just one single view without actually having to place more views on the page. So hopefully you find this useful and can use these section views for your own purposes. Thanks for watching.